Stanley, Harry, how are you guys this morning? Hey, Jake. Good, thanks. Well, thank you. Hey. So good to see you. Congratulations on this. Wept like a baby. Like, not even a cute, like, single tear, like an ugly, like, gagging, like the dry heave cry. So, I mean, it was just a beautiful, <laughs> beautiful film. So, seriously, thank you for this. Uh, Mr. Tucci, I'm going to start with you. You know, I, I really do love sort of this beautiful idea of having someone that we love by our side to kind of get us through those tough times in life. I was wondering if there was ever a role in your career that was particularly tough, more so than the others. Uh, and, and maybe who was that person that you kind of relied on to help get you through that role, through that movie? Well, sometimes it, sometimes it might be the person that you're working with. You might not even necessarily know them very well. You know, it, 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 sometimes but you're going through this experience together. And sometimes it can be that person, but sometimes it's, it's your partner. You know, it's, it's, it's your wife or friends that you've had who are in the business who know, yes, I played a role similar to that and I experienced so on and so forth. Um, yeah, so it, it really depends, but usually there's somebody there to help you. I noticed you've never called me. My phone has never rang. No, said, no, 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 because I lost your number. I, I see, I got, don't, don't worry, when you come back to Chicago, because I know you're Chicago, I, I know you have Chicago ties. Well, um, yes, yes, I'll, yes. I'll be sure to give it to you. Um, you know, when this, when this movie was over, it actually really did make me want to call my friends and made me want to call my parents and just tell the people in my life that I love them. And I think that's, that's the power of movies. That is why I love movies. And I've always wondered if it affects the, the, the people who make the movies the same way. As a, as a, for both of you guys, has a film you've ever been a part of changed your own personal behavior, made you see the world differently, or, or maybe just made you walk away wanting to be a better person? Well, I think, I mean, this one certainly, because, you know, it was a, a, a lot of my life was spent preparing for it and writing it and spending time with people who are, you know, affected by the things that we talk about in the film. So it's a life changing experience. Yeah, absolutely. And you do come out the other side of it being uh, a more empathetic person, a more compassionate person, probably. Um, yeah, it, it does change, change your life a bit. And it, and it should do as well, if, if you're, you're doing it for the right reasons, I think. I think that I think that what Harry said is true is that you have you're, you're more empathetic or sympathetic to 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 uh, what, to experiences that you would never and people that you would never have experienced before. And that's mm -hmm. part of the joy of, of making movies is that you immerse yourselves in these worlds and some of them are really wonderful celebratory uh, worlds and others are like this sort of darker worlds, but they only enrich you as a person. Sure. Um, and, and, you know, Mr. Tucci, I, I, I do love the idea of a road trip. I'm a big road trip guy. And I, you know, I, you, know I, you can really learn a lot about someone whenever you're kind of spent time, you know, cooped up together on the road. If you yeah. and I were to go on a road trip together, what do you think is the most interesting thing I would learn about you just by, by proximity of bitch being close with you for a long period of time? That I don't like road trips. <laughs> <laughs> worst road trip movie ever. The worst, the worst. <laughs> you know, it shows how uh, good acting was in this. I mean, come on, it's an extra layer. To... <laughs> that's, that was a, that's a testament to the performance. You know, Harry, there, there were so many moments in this movie that I loved, a lot of times because of what, what was unsaid. A lot of times when, when a, you know, a lot of when characters would leave each other, particularly when, when Stanley's character would sort of leave someone, and it almost felt like he knew this might be the last time I ever know who this person is again in my life. And it, it wasn't necessarily said. There wasn't like that scripted line but you could just see it. Like I could just feel it in that moment. I was curious as the, the art of crafting so many, a, a scene that says so many things without actually having a character say it. Mm. Well, it's partly very good acting. I mean, that's the first thing, but yeah, I mean, I think cinema's big trump card uh, over other, you know, uh, you know, mediums is that it can use silence and the unsaid and, you know, it's a visual medium. So I think that's definitely something that I am really interested in as a filmmaker. And it makes real sense for a film like this. That's kind of, naturally subtle and there's a lot of subtext in it um so but yes yeah, it's, it's a team effort to get that right that atmosphere yeah well you absolutely did the movie is genuinely i don't use this word often it's beautiful it is a beautiful film i can't thank you guys enough for taking the time to to chat with me and, and stanley i always tell you this it's probably to an annoying degree but i'm obsessed with road to perdition and uh oh, yeah, it's, yeah, it's yeah, a, yeah. just a beautiful film so seriously yeah. guys so good to see you and hopefully next time we're all chatting is in person thanks, thanks a lot Steve. yeah no. Well, we're going, we don't need roads.